What is the worst part about being a fat person? Always being aware of how much space you take up. Many years ago I was at a baseball game at Wrigley Field with my girlfriend. We were sitting in these two seats and there were two large gentlemen sitting in the two seats next to us. To their right the seats were all taken and to our left the rest of the row was empty. One of the guys turned to me and said hi, me and my friend are um fat. Would you two mind moving down a few seats? What could I say? I said, sure, laughed, and moved down. It reminded me of the skit by Louis Anderson when he says something about thinking fat people don't know they are fat. My wife was on a small plane jumping islands in Hawaii and a group of Samoans, huge guys, boarded and went to their seats. Before takeoff the captain came out and said in a light tone can I get you guys to spread out a little or we may just end up going in circles. They broke out laughing as they realized they were all grouped on one side of the plane. Small planes make you really appreciate just how delicate flight can be Lowell went into the Canadian wilderness once on a canoeing trip and they weighed all of us and placed us in our baggage accordingly. Growing up in Alaska I've experienced this a lot on float planes. Also most people who've never flown on a float plane would be terrified flying on one in turbulent weather. I recall watching the wings flex up and down violently as the wind was tossing us up down with unbelievable g-force. Nobody on the plane had a slightest look of concern and when we disembarked everyone went on as if nothing happened. Good times. The one I was on was a float plane as well, it rattled and flexed and dude landed it on a speck of water that was just barely enough to take off from, and only going one way due to tree clearance, most surprising part was a guide telling us if the pilot's cool, it's all cool. Unless it's a rescue pilot, because those duckers are either permanently cool or adrenaline junkies or both it was the first time I considered the off-work activities of the kind of person that gravitates towards that field. I've found that the wilderness medics and emergency crews are all the kind of people that will invite you for a fun weekend or a cool joyride and next thing you know you feel like you are on the cover of Nat Geo. I've seen planes that make Rick's spaceship look like a Lambo, get flown into some crazy storms cause that's their wings and they know how to use M. Feeling okayish about the way you look or feel and then seeing yourself in a picture and going into a spiral of depression for the next three weeks. When I lost weight I discovered that people seemed way more nice to me and seemed to approach me as being more intelligent or valued than before. Can confirm. I lost 130 pounds in one year in high school. People really treat you different in a positive sense. I still remember this one kid at my high school was the fat kid through junior year then over the summer lost a ton of weight, and they still picked on him asking him if his parents sent him to fat camp. It's been like 20 years, but I hope he's okay. He probably had a great time in college. Nobody knew who he was in high school and he was just a normal not fat dude. Even if people from his high school went to the same college, I can't see how they would bring that along, what are they going to do, tell people oh, Tim used to be so fat. Haha <laughs> I bet he went to fat camp. People in college will be like, so? Good for him. Unless easy access to beer and junk food made him gain it all back. I actually just looked him up. He's definitely kept it off comma dot looks like he has a very active lifestyle. Good for him. Definitely better than I'm doing lol. Nothing seems to fit nicely or still look nice in your size. Feeling and knowing you're fat and being very embarrassed about it. Also, knowing that your biggest insecurity will be apparent to anyone you meet almost instantly. Literally everyone else gets to hide their business for at least a little while Earl. Can't cover it up for an interview or first date or some shit. An all day, everyday kind of thing with me. I just push it to the back of my mind until it festers into a mental illness. Something that has helped me deal with it is my own version of self-acceptance. To me it does not mean that I'm fat and that's great. I know it's unhealthy and I am will continue working on it. Having said that. This is the shape I am in right now and that is okay. Take steps towards your goal but also be okay with who you are today. It's like, if you want to pay off student loans. Yeah it's a pain, yeah you want to be done with it. Get a job, make a plan, work towards your goals. But that doesn't mean you have to hate yourself right now and live below poverty levels or some shit like that. It is okay to be in debt. Accept that and make a plan to get out of it. Everything. You just feel so uncomfortable. Having an ache in your arm or chest and not knowing if it's posture or your heart finally packing in. To be fair this also applies to me and I'm not fat, I'm just convinced all my internals are on their way out already. 
LMFAO word, anytime I feel anything too out of the ordinary I basically go home, so today's the day ha huh, LMFAO. This was strangely comforting to know this many people have the same anxieties as I do lol. Same. I really thought I was the only one overthinking every ache and pain sometimes. Especially chest pains. I've had many so this is really at hum moments. It has affected my life in some ways. I worry about camping and hiking sometimes being out at such a remote area. Anxiety is the worst. Just the sheer amount of room fatness takes up in your brain. You're either thinking about it or being reminded of it by your clothes, social situation, available space, etc. It's exhausting. This was, is, always the worst for me. It's like 90% of my day. What am I eating, wearing, how could I fit in exercise, what will I eat next, is that person looking at me because I'm fat, why am I so worthless, I wish I was more motivated. Constant in some form or another, even now that I'm a lot smaller, it's still there. I ducking hate it. Pool parties. Lying about being hungry so people don't think of course the fat ass is ducking hungry. I worked with a guy who was about 550 pounds when our co-workers asked him one day. Something something, I never see you eat? The reply. Dude, look at me, I'm an eating machine. I'm a fat man. I never eat lunch or breakfast. I absolutely love dinner foods, what can I say? Sweating. In my 20s, I was a fat kid playing basketball with my friend. 90 degrees. I was drenched. He didn't even break a sweat. My belt trying to stab me in my belly when I sit down. The amount of pants you go through. Chub rub some holes in them? Me too. Legitimately a top 3 motivator for working out again I can't keep buying new underwear and pants as often as I do. Getting winded waking up a couple flights of stairs. Glass half full and 30 pounds down in 2 months, only 70 more to go. Cutting your toenails sucks ass. And tying your shoes. Putting on a shirt, walking into the back room, seeing how it makes me look, and then never pulling out my favorite shirt ever again. At my heaviest, I went to an amusement park. I love roller coasters. I waited in line, go on, the safety bar juus didn't close a click no matter how hard I or the ride operator pushed. I was told I had to get off the ride. The shame and humiliation I felt during the walk from the ride past the people in line behind me who saw the whole thing and the friends I was with who got to stay on the ride, that was the worst thing about being fat. Edit, wow. Thank you kind strangers for all the updates and awards. Edit too, I'm so sorry so many others have experienced this. It's such a horrible feeling, and people can be cruel. If you laugh at someone for this, you are a terrible person and need to evaluate your own life choices. Also, for those asking, not long after this, I had gastric bypass and was able to lose 125 pounds I'm much healthier and happier. For those who have mentioned that poor boy who died as a result of being over the weight limit and not properly secured, that was such a tragedy. This is why those weight limits restrictions exist. They suck for those of us are over those limits, but I respect their intended purpose. Finally, those who think my friends should have gotten off with me, they were ready too, I told them not to. No use all of us missing out on a ride we waited in a long line for. Asking for an extender for an airline seat. Then the folks expression when I stop at their row. Equally tough was a fa casually walking down the aisle with an extender only to stop, look at me, and say were you the one that requested this? I was already buckled without an extender but I guess I looked fat enough to make them wonder. A real eye-opener to how people must see me. Feeling like you look really nice and then later seeing a picture of yourself. Trying to make yourself smaller on planes or anything with touching seats. Needing to be strategic about where you shop. Having everyone be an expert on your health without knowing anything other than what they see. That first sentence, yeah. The worst is when you're out shipping and thinking you're looking good that day and then you see yourself in the Target self-checkout security camera. Fuyu, I'm pretty sure everyone looks like dog shit in those cameras.